Namaskar, hello and welcome to this special interaction with a special guest who has joined us all the way from Kathmandu, Nepal. We are at the 98th AIU, Association of Indian Universities annual meet in Hyderabad. And with us is the Vice Chancellor of Kathmandu University, Sri Bola Thapa. Thanks, sir. Thanks for joining us. Sir, first of all, uh, recently we have uh, hosted AIU, India, Bharat and Nepal uh, meet in Kathmandu. Would you like to tell something about that? Thank you very much. The Kathmandu University has been a member of a Association of Indian University, Indian University for almost 25 years now. Journey of 25 years with KU being a member of AIU. Uh, we were able to host the AIU North Zone Vice Chancellor meet. And at the same time, we also organized a Bharat Nepal educational meet between the academic institutions in two countries, as well as to promote the education of uh, both the countries so that at least we can proudly stand uh, all around the world. Great, sir. Please tell us the kind of collaborations and exchange programs that are happening with Bharat and Nepal. Yeah, I think uh, many of us know that like, uh, uh, like the places like uh, Kashi, Banaras was a place where most of the Nepali the, the earlier generation took their education. Similarly, the many rishis and gurus from India, they might have uh, enlightened and they might have uh, gone for tapasya in the Himalayas. So that sort of a collaboration and cooperation was there in the past, as well as uh, when the formal higher education started in this part of the world also. Many professionals of Nepal, especially the medical doctors, the engineers, lawyers, they have taken education in India. Now Nepal's higher education is also developing. We ha also have many universities coming up. So at this con in this context now, like uh, we thought, like uh, we need to have a uh, collaboration and cooperations. The higher education all around the world is, is, is has some sort of a challenge. Like uh, it's changing quite fast. So in this context, the academic institutions and universities in India and Nepal now we have to cooperate and collaborate. When, if, if I want to talk about the examples of uh, Kathmandu University, Kathmandu University is running a joint program with the IIT Hyderabad and IIT Madras. Uh, similarly, we have uh, some investments of the Indian business group uh, running a medical college in, under Kathmandu University, especially the Manipal group. And then there is also a college of medical science in Bharatpur, Chitwan, run by the Hyderabad-based group. So. Many Nepali, they have taken education in India, but at the same time, I, we ca I can proudly say here that many, almost 4,500 Indians, they have taken a degree from Kathmandu University, especially in medical science and some other areas. Great, sir. One of the important aspects uh, that connects Bharat and Nepal is, it is earlier said they are the same. Now, the roots, the culture in Bharat and Nepal is the same. What do you have to say? How does that help? between the two countries? Yeah, we have, a, we have a quite a lot of similarities. So many, most of the time we call it as like, a, it's a relation of Roti and Betty. So our movement, uh, our politically, socially, culturally, economically, we have quite a similarities. And now that means we have to make use of that, these, these relations now. So um, uh, the youths have a tendency of a migration. Uh, we can utilize that tendency of the youth for the development of both the countries. Uh, and at the same time, like, uh, we need to learn from each other. Like, for example, uh, besides uh, this sort of a collaborative program, so Kathmandu University from last year, we have also been launching one program on Tirupati. Tirupati. Like, uh, we want to really connect Tirupati and Pashupati through the education. Uh, we are running a program on yogic science and well-being. Like, of course, I know that the India has been doing quite a lot on uh, research and education on yogic science. Uh, but there could be quite many things that we can also learn from the Himalayas. So the students, some of the students from India are also interested to learn the curriculum of the Nepal. Uh, and uh, we are running uh, that program. So similarly, like Nepal is also quite known for its hospitality. So hopefully, and many Nepali youths, they are here in India, they are working or, or they are they have come here, come here for studies. So 
if we can offer a course for Nepali students to run here, uh, to study here at uh, India, or if we can run a course in Nepal like that, that they, like even the Indian students can join. So it will have a mutual benefit, I suppose. Wonderful, sir. There is one situation in Nepal where uh, youngsters are going abroad for studies. At the same time, people are going abroad for their employment and livelihood. Educational institutions are considered to be a place where incubation and killing center, at the same time various research center. Is the educational ecosystem of Nepal working with the government of Nepal uh, to create the employment and opportunities within the country? Yes, the country, uh, the Nepal has gone through the long political transitions. We have had several political changes. So most probably now I think we are coming to uh, uh, towards the stabilization of the political system. That means now we really need to utilize our natural resource so that the gap which we have seen to generate new jobs or during this political uh, turmoil uh, and because of that uh, many of our students are going either to India or Europe or West for education as well as to get the job will be addressed by utilizing our natural resource like uh, I think uh, all of us uh, I think we agree that Nepal has tremendous potential in hydropower and now we have been developing a hydropower and we have started exporting that those hydropower to even India also meaning now there will be a surplus electricity in the country and then there will be more and more industries will come up. So that will generate new jobs. And, and, and uh, it's, Nepal is not only known for the Himalayas, like uh, the sincerity of the Nepalese people for their work uh, can also be uh, utilized. And then uh, uh, we have been working, for example, to find out the new sh source of energy as uh, utilizing the, our own hydropower. We are working on the green hydrogen as a future fuel, which will also develop a lot of uh, new um, employment. At the same time, it will also contribute for a uh, uh, global impact, like uh, like to to control the or to maintain the temperature rise, uh, so that at least we will also temp uh, maintain the nature. So I believe, like uh, with political change and then with our uh, relations with the. Uh, institutions in India, even the government, the business sector, uh, the public sectors are ready to create new sort of a ecosystem environment for business and as well as motivating uh, youngsters to be on their own route so that uh, they can contribute and they can help to generate the economy vibrancy. Wonderful, sir.